Hi guys, today what we're gonna do is to um, download a Mixamo animation and how to retarget that animation to metahumans. So first of all, if you don't know it, you have the option, I mean, I'm talking about Unreal Engine 5. So in Unreal Engine 5, you have the option to go to Windows and there's a Crystal Bridge Mixamo in here. So you can just go ahead and um, export the MetaHuman that you've created directly into the Unreal Engine 5. So that's that's a great thing to do. And by the way, please note that this video is only for Unreal Engine 5. And uh, although you can gather all the information that I'm gonna give you to you give you, give to you right now, um, if you've searched enough, but all I'm doing in this video is just uh, uh, give you all the information at once. So uh, you can just go ahead and click download. 30 frames per second is fine. FBX fine. Just um, go ahead and import the file that you have. I've already done that. It's really nothing too um, too fancy. So it's just go ahead and import to game animations. I've created a folder. Um, call animation for it. After that, what you have to do is to um, first of all, you have to make sure that you have the third person template. So basically, you need the third person blueprint for this uh, whole operation to um, to be done. So what you're gonna do is to go add add feature or, con or content pack and make sure to select this one and add it uh, to your project. After that, what you're going to do, I mean, it's, it's a little bit complicated, so... Um, you have your MetaHumans, just go to the MetaHuman Blueprint that you have. Um, this was what I had before, so you just right-click on it, duplicate. You can easily just go ahead and um, use this one directly, I just duplicated it to be safe. Um, Okay, so I've already done all these steps before to um, to make sure that everything works correctly. First of all, what you have to do is to go to class settings and make sure that you have parented your class to BP third person character. This is very important. Um, after that, you 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 will have something called root around here. You don't really need it; just get rid of it. And uh, make sure that you uh, just drag this body under the mesh so you can just parent it to uh, mesh. Then it will be something like this. But make sure that you go ahead in body and reset all the location, rotation, and scale. I've already changed a lot of those, so I don't really have the option to reset them. Re resetting them for me will just mess everything up, but, but you make sure that you reset everything. Uh, and then go to the mesh, type viz, make sure it's not visible, and then you need to change this one to, it's, I guess it's uh, set to always tick pose, you need to change it to um, always tick pose and refresh bones, because if you don't do this step, the character when you just move around, the character won't. The character's feet won't, legs, feet, everything uh, won't even move. So it's like the characters in T pose and just it's just moving around. So make sure it's uh, set to always tick pose and refresh modes. Uh, compile save. I guess we're done in here. So. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is go to mesh, uh, no, not the mesh, the body, yeah, body, no, the mesh, yeah, I was right. Make sure the anim class is set to abp C and skeletal mesh is skm underscore many. This is really important. And go to body and, um, oh, sorry. As this this is something I missed. I'm, I'm really sorry. You have to make sure that uh, this variable in here, retarget mode enabled, make sure that this is enabled. Then right click, find references, get retarget mode enabled. And uh, there's RT, 
RTG MetaHuman. So this is the anim class that is it's creating for the whole retargeting process. So make sure you click on this one and this is set to something else for you guys. Uh, make sure you set it to RTG mannequin and duplicate it. I've already done that and name it whatever you want. And um, Uh, and then make sure that you have this one as your IK retargeter asset in here. Just click on this one and then hit compile, save, open this one up. So, let's see. So the first issue that you might face is that the arms of the character is the elbow especially is really bent forward. So there's something in here. You just go ahead in the chain mapping and in left arm, you have the option to either bend it to source. This is what you're going to get for uh, the first time you initiate the process. But make sure you just go ahead and do something like this, uh, both for left arm and right arm. Or you can just go ahead and use static offsets or blend to source weights. I would say that just go ahead and um, and play around with these things. Let's see. Let's see if it's fine. Yeah, I like it. I've already played um, with... Oh, let me see. Right arm. So I've just... Um, set change the offset a little bit to make sure that when the character is walking these two won't collide to each other uh, but you can just go ahead and play around with these things this is the way to solve the bending problem or any other problems that you're gonna face while retargeting the whole thing and cl um, click save um, everything should be fine by now let me double check this is the whole asset, and this is the retargeter we are using. Okay, everything's fine. So let's go ahead and do the um, animation part. This is the animation that I've I've downloaded from XML. So uh, what I want to do is to um, it's not a really beautiful animation, but it's just something like a placeholder. Uh, what we're going to do is to we want to retarget this to not the uh, not the meta human character, but to the mannequin character. So what we're going to do is to we have to. So I have to find it. Okay, characters, mannequins, meshes, and um, it really doesn't matter if you're using the queen character or many character. In our case, you should be using many many character. Uh, this is named wrong, as you can see, but you just go ahead and right click um, animation. The first thing you need to do is to uh, have an IK rig. And make sure to search for many um, and name it whatever you want, but make sure to you you need to be using this IK um, in the future in, in the process that you have to retarget everything. So this is what you're gonna do for the Uh, what you're gonna create for the uh, for the third person mannequin? I haven't done it before. I can easily go create a okay, rig many okay, rig many test, and I can just go. As you can see, there's no chain. I've already added some chains before, so I'm not gonna go do them all over again. 
Um, so as you can see, the retargeter manager is definitely different. So much different. It's not even similar to what it was before. There are two things that we have to do in here. One is we have to add new chains. So chain is like you, instead of just retargeting every bone, you just create chains and retarget those chains. Um, you just need to make sure, I mean, you better watch out for the names uh, and make them similar in both arcades that you're going to use. I mean, this is the first IK that we have and we are going to um, create another IK for for the mix and moist skeletal mesh. Uh, but just bear with me, you're going to understand it all in a minute. Um, just make sure that the names are not different. So just go ahead and add new chain. I've already added some chains before. Make it uh, name it head. Start bone is neck underscore zero one and bone is head. Just you're gonna have to pause a second and make sure that you create these things in your skeletal mesh. And then uh, we have to specify which bone is gonna be our root bone. In Mixamo's case, the root bone, root bone is not the root bone. It's actually named pelvis, or it, 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 it doesn't have a root bone. That's what I'm saying. So you're just going to click on pelvis and right click and set retarget root. You just have to click on this and click save, and you're good to go. So, OK. now. It's time to um, create an IK rig for Mixamo animation, Mixamo skeletal mesh. I've already done once. Um, so this is the rig, IK rig I've created for it. Uh, just go ahead and animation IK rig and just in my case, it's called idle anim. So you just select that name it whatever you want it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is as I told you uh, the names should be similar or or the chains should be similar so if you are having a head make sure that um, the head chains including neck to head like this or spine is including this whole spine thing so this is really important uh, you're just gonna have to pause the video for a second and make sure uh, you're gonna have to add these things. Uh, if you want to add fingers, that's completely up to you. I've, I haven't done it because I was really lazy to do so. But you can go ahead and do it. Um, it's, it's, it's like another chain. Like if you have, a, have an arm, the chain is like this. It will be left shoulder to left hand. But if you're, for example, if, if you have an index finger, it will be like something these bones so you just go ahead and find them all and create them for yourself okay oh man this is a little complicated <laughs> i mean it's not uh, just memorizing everything could be complicated so after you've done all the steps correctly i mean i may have missed something i hope not but if we have done everything correctly now is the time to just go ahead in animation and create an IK retargeter. Uh, it will be based on um, based on the mannequin that we're using. So I've already created one. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. It's not based on the mannequin. It's based on the uh, mix the more skeletal mesh. It's based on the skeletal mesh that we're getting the animation from and we are retargeting it to another animation. So it will be based on the mix the more, uh, skeletal mesh. So you, you will be having the source IK rig assets. You need to specify which target you want to use, which in our case will be queen rig. I mean, the, the IK rig that we've um, created for the mannequin. And uh, it should be auto mapped, but if not, you can just go ahead and select this one and um, just go ahead and see if it works for you. If something's 
not feeling good you can just go ahead and edit pose make sure the poses are similar because if not you'll be getting a little bit of a weird result in here and do uh, you have these options as well these are great and strong tools to be used um and that should be it if i mean we are having this asset in here we can just easily use it i'm gonna go um show you um i was just testing around so this this is the asset that i've exported the way you can export it though i just completely forgot to explain this you have the option to export selected animation and choose a path and you're good to go just hit ok and you're good to go oh uh, no i don't want to do that but okay and this is it this is the animation this was the main animation and this this was the main animation and this is the animation we've exported from Mixamo. And as you can see, all the IK stuff works well. Well, this is it guys. I, I really hope I didn't miss anything, but if I did, please let me know in the comment section. I could easily help you out in here. Uh, thank you for watching as always and cheers.